in a serious hour. Joel 2, blow the trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm in my holy mountain, and let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. The first alarm is to say, everybody wake up and to begin to feel the weight of what is coming around the corner. And that's what I believe the Lord is saying this right now. We are sounding an alarm saying things are shifting in this nation. Amen. We're seeing spiritual protection that's getting shaken to the core. We're seeing walls getting broken through into this nation and we don't need just to see it. Well, that's happening over there because of that wicked city, beloved. When we begin to see the breakdown of spiritual protection around this nation, we know for sure that something is happening and that we have turned away from God and that God is beginning to turn against us. There is a military crisis scheduled for this nation and in this generation unless the people of God in this nation begin to wake up and to begin to respond in the biblical way that the Lord calls people to respond in hours of crisis. I want to tell you right now that we in this nation, we are staring two giants in the face. There are two twin towers in this nation. And I want to declare to you, the first one is abortion. Bloodshed is screaming from the ground. 50 million babies in this nation crying out from the ground. And in the same way that he heard Abel's blood, so Jesus is hearing the cries of 50 million aborted babies crying out for justice in this nation. The Lord declared it in Genesis 9 for blood. I will require blood. We have bloodshed on this ground. And I'm telling you guys, we have made a God in our image. We've made a God who pretty much fits our ideas and fits our comforts and fits our ideas of what a good Christianity here in the West looks like. But I'm telling you, God is God and He doesn't change. We have truly made a God in our image and it's time that we get connected to the God who made us in His image. We have made one who, is, who we think is altogether like us. Abortion crying out from the ground. And this second issue, I'm going to tell you right now, this issue of pornography. We have a billion dollar pornography industry coming out of Los Angeles. 50,000 pornographic films are shown and filmed every month. 800 million DVDs are are bought every year. We're seeing that the statistics of people during youth conferences like this one or young adult conferences. We actually see that in the hotels, the rates go up of pornographic rentals. And I tell you, the sons and the daughters are in prison. I'm telling you right now, it's time that we sound an all-out assault and begin to say, God, we plead your blood over my sins and the sins of this nation. God, in abortion and sin revival. But Jesus, I plead your blood over my eyes and the eyes of this nation. God, in pornography and sin revival to a generation. Telling it's a fight. When we've tolerated Jezebel, we have given in to her seductions. We see it on every radio station, on every television station. Everything is infiltrated with sexual into windows, targeting to shut our spirits down and to keep us the walking dead. And we don't hear what God is saying in this generation. What does church look like in the hour of crisis? Business as usual will not cut it. It will not cut it. This is what Joel says. He says, sound the alarm. He says, now, now says the Lord, turn to me with all of your heart and do it with fasting. Tear your heart, not your garments. He goes, I want your internals, not your externals. Return to the Lord your God, for this is it. This is the declaration of his name. He is gracious, merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. And he relents from doing harm. Who knows if he will turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and drink offering for the Lord your God. He says this, Job prophesies and says, Who knows that if the people of God hear the prophetic call and respond in the right way, who knows that at the last second when judgment's about to break in upon a generation, that at the last second when the people of God are crying out mercy, right when it's about to break in, God goes, Abort! 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 Sends the judgment away and in its place 
pours out historic revival.